You are on. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great to be here at NAICS. Um, I'm really excited about this uh, virtual trade show. Um, I'm Chip Terry. I'm CEO and co-founder of a company called Shellfish Solutions. We produce a product called Oyster Tracker out of Castine, Maine. And really our whole mission in life is to make the shellfish industry more successful by applying the latest um, uh, technologies to the industry so that we can make your lives better. And so today what I wanted to go through is a little bit about what's changed in the technology world and then uh, talk about our three products, our farm manager, our shellfish tagger, and our distributor solution. So let's talk about what's changed in the technology world. And obviously there's a ton that's changed. We hear about it all the time, but I think there's three things that really matter to this audience. Number one, you guys all carry supercomputers in your pocket. Every farmer I've met on the Gulf Coast, on the Pacific Coast, on the Atlantic Coast, even over in Europe, um, all carry a phone in their pocket that is connected to the cloud. And what the cloud really means is it's really easy to transfer data and information from one person to another, whether that is um, sharing information within a farm or sharing it with your suppliers um, or your buyers. And then also, you know, probably less intuitively, but really important for this audience, you know, these thermal mobile printers um, that print out on waterproof paper. They use no ink, so they, uh, they don't streak and it's really easy to do. And they connect to your phone via Bluetooth. And this is a beautiful picture of Calm Cove shellfish out in Shelton, Washington. This is Hog Island with the cloud computing and this is down on Cape Cod. Um, so if we think about those technologies and we think about the key uh, challenges that might be helped with technology on a shellfish farm or in the shellfish uh, distribution chain, it's really four things that I look at it. One of which is managing the farm. How do I manage the day-to-day -day operations on my farm so that I have a profitable business? Um, that I, my team is doing the right thing today, they're doing the right thing tomorrow, and I'm growing an incredibly great product at the lowest cost possible. Number two is record keeping. You guys live in a highly regulated world which has lots of record keeping requirements. Some of them are just for making sure you get invoiced properly, and some of it is for compliance with the state or federal laws. Um, and the compliance issues are huge and probably getting even stronger. If you guys haven't paid attention, the FDA has a new uh, set of rules that are coming out that you know, are still in common period, so hopefully they, some of them can change. But the basic idea is that they're gonna require digital traceability. Um, and at the end of all of this, you gotta market your product. There are a lot of amazing oyster farms out there that have unbelievable stories to tell about their farm. And unfortunately, in that supply chain, very often that story gets lost. So you wanna be able to tell that story of what's your, why your farm is different and hopefully better than everybody else's. So taking those challenges with that technology, we said, well, let's start with farm management. And for those of you who know us, this is where you maybe know us the best, which is how do I manage my farm? How do I manage my day-to-day -day inventory, my day-to-day -day activities on my farm so that I can optimize my yields, I can get the best results on my farm? Um, and you set this up, think of it as a virtual whiteboard on your iPad. So from where do I have where, to what's going on in my different uh, growing areas, to what are my results, what's my inventory. Now I'm gonna move over to one of our newer solutions. This is farmer tagging. Really pretty simple solution. And this one started out with us talking to a bunch of farmers and then watching them sit there and spend 20 minutes or an hour writing out tags. Um, we said, there's gotta be a better solution to this. So it's fairly straightforward. Put the information into your mobile app and it's very easy to mostly drop downs. Um, it uh, prints out to a Bluetooth thermal printer that I already talked about. It includes this QR code um, and it prints out on these waterproof tags that are legal in every state, um, except possibly Louisiana, but we'll get back to that. Um, and then really importantly, all that data is now stored in the cloud in the spreadsheet form so that you can submit it to the state um, or any other uh, entity for your harvester or uh, landings reports um, so that you keep track of all this data 
um, and you don't have to do the redundant print out the tags and then print out the harvest logs. It's entered it once and it's stored digitally forever. And then our newest solution that's just coming out of beta is the dealer distribution solution. How do I take the products that are already received, either by using shortcuts or ultimately scanning that QR code to pull in all the information from your farm and use it um, in my inventory um, so that it comes in. And then I can also record the shipping out because what's required in regulations is lot to lot traceability. And what makes this really important for distributors and for farmers is the ability, if there ever is a problem, to restrict the trace back to the lot that's really affected and not everything. So we don't have to close down all of Dan Mariscotta River. We can just identify one lot on one day that was the problem and, you know, and solve the problem quickly rather than having a broad recall. So I'm gonna flip over and just do a quick demo uh, from my phone. And I'm gonna start um, with the, uh, the farmer app. So the farmer app is fairly simple as I was saying. You can do harvester, dealer, or temporary tags. So if you're holding or moving things within your uh, farm, you do your harvester permit, you pick out your brands. Maybe I'm gonna do sweets today, a lot number. This uh, is probably coming in the new regulations, the requirements of a lot number at harvest, a harvest date, a harvest time, a location. Uh, so maybe I'm doing the Westport River in Massachusetts. Um, the uh, type of product, so oysters, but it could be a product of Canada, it could be mussels, it could be pretty much anything. We'll stick with oysters. The size and call, and who am I shipping it to? Um, and ship date time, if I'm in Vibrio season, icing and refrigeration, if you need to have a receiving temperature, if you want to put a note, if you want to take a picture. All of this information you can store into your tag um, and you can say, I'm harvesting 25, 120 count bags and I want to print out my tags. And so right next to me, that will uh, kick off a little printer. So if you can see it, um, it's now printed out a beautiful tag. Um, it's created a log of my harvest. These 25 bags, 3,000 oysters, they're sweets, farm raised in the US. Um, and I can export this as a spreadsheet. It'll email me a spreadsheet with all the information in that, all the extended information. Um, that's the farmer app. Let me show you one really interesting thing about it. When we talk about the marketing aspect of it, you know, here's a tag that I printed out a minute ago. Um, and I can scan that QR code and it's gonna bring up a web page that's unique to both that farm and that product. So it is, you know, whatever beautiful picture you have of your farm, the legal information, then really importantly, the story of this product. Who grows it? How are you growing it? If you wanted tasting notes in here, you could add tasting notes, you can add pretty much anything. What is the story about this farm that's gonna be different? So you can think of this as a shucker or a distributor or a chef or even an end consumer, scanning your tag and learning much more about your farm. And of course, it's got all the regulatory information. When was it harvested? Um, if it was iced, what icing time, where it was shipped to? And this would build up as a chain as it went through the distribution channel. So, you know, what we're doing really is we're taking that regulatory compliance aspect and we're adding marketing value to it. So that's not just a cost, but it's actually a marketing center. And then let's just uh, quickly show you what happens on the distributor side. Because the distributor side is I'm receiving product and I'm shipping it out. So maybe I'm uh, receiving some Cape May salts. Maybe I received 25 bags of Cape May salts and I received it from Cat's Rody Shellfish Farm and I can put in the harvest location um, and I hit save and that information is right in there. And if I needed to do something like retemp the product or print tags, all of that stuff can be done right there. And then critically important, is I can fill orders on the other side. So I can uh, set up a new order and say, I'm gonna go to Eventide in Portland. I'm gonna ship out some of those Cape May salts. We're noticing that this is a lot that just came in and I wanna ship it today and I'm gonna ship one bag, but maybe it's only 50 count bags. Um, and I can even put in the sale price. 
I could just put save and print tags. And now for my cold room, I've got my tags being printed out. Um, I think my uh, video would show. Um, and uh, I've created a log of all of my shipments going through. Um, and if I was really, you know, if I had a customer who had one of our tags, I can literally scan that in. So all that information just transferred over and I hit next and that, you know, that was 11 bags and I hit save. And that's also now into my uh, receiving log. So in other words, making life a lot easier for that distributor client to manage the ins and outs of their um, operation um, and create that digital traceability chain that everybody's looking for in the regulations. So those are our core products. Um, pricing, because that's the first question everybody asks. Farm manager is a subscription base, starts at $100 a month or $1,000 a year. Farmer tagging, we have no subscription. This is simply you buy printers and some paper up front for $500, and then we just do replenishment. We buy the paper in mass, and then we sell you the paper, $300 for 1,750 tags. Um, think of that as roughly the same cost as what you get if you buy pre-printed tags and think of all the labor savings. And then distributor tagging that's just coming out of uh, beta, it'll be based on the size of the operation. Um, success today, you know, we've worked with some amazing folks. We've got 101 farm clients. We've got these eight folks in beta. We've got a NOAA SBIR grant that helped fund a lot of this. We've got some strategic investors like the uh, Coastal Enterprise Institute and Maine Venture Fund that are really committed to making this industry successful. And we've got products that are really well tested that don't crash. Um, and we've got a very talented team that has the range of skills um, from folks who have been long-term oyster farmers to folks coming out of the technology world to designers, all the folks that you need to be successful with this kind of project. We come out of the tech, you know, I personally come out of the technology world because um, I know how hard it is and how important it is to build a usable product. If you want to learn more, this is my contact information or visit oystertracker.com. Thank you guys. Really great to work with you. So Chip, I have a question. Um, yeah. How do you deal with the fact that every state has got their own regulations? <laughs> <laughs> we read the model ordinance. We assume nobody, every state had exactly the same regulation. What we found out is they do have different ones. So what we've built is a rules engine for each state. So Washington state, you have to record the water temperature and the air temperature when you harvest. Florida, you've got to do the type of icing, whether it's refrigeration or a slurry. In Virginia, you have to do the landing time. So every state, we have an engine um, and we, uh, we put in those different rules and regulations. Good question. Well, it's really cool. And uh, I've also heard that you're very uh, amenable to updating the product and, and um, when a grower or a dealer has a, an idea or a need, that you're very responsive. Yep, that's it. Yeah, that's the core. One of the benefits of software is you can update it frequently. And what that means is you listen to your customers and they tell you what to do. Um, so, you know, look, looking forward, we've got a lot of things on the horizon. Integration with things like QuickBooks, the ability for a restaurant or a distributor to place an order with a, um, with a farm, the ability to, you know, communicate from that farm to the distributor that a product's incoming. Um, the ability to do automated cold chain tracking with uh, IOT devices. There's a whole lot of directions we can go. And really what we do is we listen to our customers and they tell us what to do. I'm also excited to hear about the potential to upload the data into SAFIS, saving a step there. Yeah. The states that are uh, forcing us to um, list our landings into SAFIS. I'm very excited about this and I appreciate you coming on today. Uh, and we will put this on the web for other people to view. Thank you very much, Chip. Hey, thank you. And thanks for all you do, Bob. Really great.